I've been trying to build my YouTube channel now for over a year. I started in March 2023 and it is so freaking hard. I am this close to throwing the towel in and just giving up and I wanted to talk about it. So there's no fancy editing here. There's no fancy script. I'm literally just gonna talk through how I'm feeling about the whole YouTube journey and I love your thoughts on whether it's worth me keep going or not because I think I'm starting to realise that this whole YouTube thing is harder than most of us think it's going to be when we set out. So just to give you a quick introduction and a bit of background, hi, I'm Bev. I'm a late diagnosed ADHD, midlife entrepreneur. I started my business in the corporate wellbeing space six and a half years ago. I pivoted about a year ago. And although I still do some corporate work, I actually now spend most of my time teaching other wellbeing coaches how to get into corporate. And I'm absolutely fascinated by all things content related, not necessarily sort of Instagram, Facebook, but more sort of longer form content. I'm an educator. I've been in the education world for over, gosh, nearly 15 years. And I just love creating content. I love sharing information. I love trying to help other people to learn new stuff. I'm a bit of a course junkie and I'm a bit of a learning junkie. So I love learning anything new. And when I started my YouTube channel, actually, this is this is my second channel, really. I've had a few others, but this is a second proper channel. The first one was all related to my business which was menopause awareness and it's a story for another day but I completely lost everything on that channel um, last March so I started this one and it's had a few different iterations and I think part of the problem is I've not really been able to settle on an exact niche and I find it difficult because the the people the audience that I really want to connect with are midlife women who have a neurodivergence, probably ADHD, because that's what I'm familiar with, who have had a career change and decided to start their own business in later life. And a sub-niche of that, let me just open the windows here because I'm baking. A sub-niche of that really is um, coaches and wellbeing professionals because that's the business side of what I do. So my audience is quite clear. It's midlife ADHDers with their own business, either just starting or in the early stages. So that's pretty niche. And that gives me lots and lots of content that I can create. Um, I can talk about ADHD, I can talk about business, I can talk about mindset, I can talk about midlife, I can talk about late diagnosis ADHD, I can talk about what it's like to be a woman with ADHD, I can talk about career change, I can talk about starting a business in later life. There's loads and loads of things I can talk about. And that in itself is a, a blessing and a curse because I think all of the stuff that I've read about YouTube says be very niche. But if I, I feel as if I'm if I'm too niche, I am going to run out of content. Plus I have ADHD, so I'm probably going to get bored. And if I don't enjoy the process, I'm probably not going to do it. So my content so far has been a niche audience a defined audience, I should probably say, but the, the content is quite broad. And one of the other things I'm really, you know, wanting to talk about as well is my own YouTube journey, as I'm doing today, um, because I genuinely think it is a brilliant platform. I love the platform. I probably spend more time watching YouTube than I do watching TV. Sorry about the cars going by. I would probably have my windows up, but it's so hot. Um, so I love YouTube and I genuinely think it's a great, it's a, a great project, I guess, if you're in later life to learn how to do YouTube, not necessarily to monetize that that's, you know, that's a, a business decision. 
but just to catalogue and record our lives because we don't tend to do the thing that we used to do with sort of, you know, keeping photographs in a photograph album anymore. So this is a good way to kind of leave a legacy for our future generation. So there's lots of reasons why I really want to keep doing this, but I have to tell you, it is demoralizing when you put your heart and soul into videos and okay i'm finishing this off inside because i was sat in the car it was really hot and my phone overheated and stopped working so it just feels like another challenge to overcome but hey that's the way it is so just to kind of finish things off really i guess I'm really open to feedback. So if you are watching this, if you've watched any of my other videos, if you haven't watched any and you've just come across this one, I'd love you to go and watch another couple and give me your honest feedback on what I'm missing um, because I'm obviously missing something. I don't know what it is and I am very open to constructive feedback. Please, if you're just going to be cruel for the sake of being cruel, don't bother. But if it's, you know, genuinely constructive feedback, I'm very open to that. I really want to make this work. And more than that, I really want to provide value and give a good experience when people visit the channel. And I'm very aware as well that everyone says the first thousand subs are the hardest to get and with that in mind I'm 575 subs I think I am at the minute I feel like it has been a hard slog and it's freaking hard <laughs> I'll be honest I nearly swore um, it really is hard and I don't want to throw the towel in, I really don't. I want to keep going. It's I don't like quitting and I feel like I'd be letting myself down and letting other people down if I do quit. So I don't want to. The problem is there's so many contradictory gurus out there telling us what to do. Some are saying, got a niche. Others are saying, you don't need to niche. Some are saying, you need to niche a bit. It is very confusing. And I feel as if what I'm getting into is the trap of getting so wrapped up in the shoulds. I should be doing this. I should be doing that. I should be doing it the other way. That I'm actually um, not doing the content that I probably really want to be doing. I feel like I'm trying to fit what I want to create into the, the the strategies that other people are telling me and they're all a little bit contradictory they're all kind of conflicting so I'm gonna leave it there and go and have a, a think on this and maybe wake up in the morning with a renewed sense of optimism about this because I genuinely truly do enjoy the process of creating these videos and I suppose maybe I just need to re-evaluate my expectations from what it, what it is I want to get from YouTube. Thank you so much for listening to my ramblings and my ventings and I will hopefully see you in the next video.